Hey guys, it's Matt Winning at winningstrength.com and today we're going to talk about how to bench press big weights. Now for a lot of you guys, you're training very incorrectly and you're going to cause a lot of problems. But I think by watching this video, you're not only going to bring your pressing power up, you're also going to bench press probably 10 or 20 years longer than you would if you're doing what you're doing right now. So let's get into it. Point A, build stability first. This means that the lats, the rear delts, the, all, the, all the scapular muscles, infra, supraspinatus, the um, rotator cuff, all those particular muscles are gonna need to be not only in great shape, but also massively stabilizing in order for you to bench the weights that you feel you have the potential to do. The problem with this is, is that most people think Ah, I'm not worried about all that. I just want to bench press big weights. What do lats and what do all those muscles have to do with the bench press? Well, let me tell you something. Tear a rotator cuff and tell me how important those little muscles are and get back to me. But before you go and destroy your body, maybe think about what I'm saying and make sure you're fixing that. So how do we build stability? Well, we need to do a lot of rows, okay? So we gotta do a lot of rows. We gotta do a lot of internal, external rotator work and we need to make sure that our back is stronger than our pecs. And for most of us, that is not the case. So if you're doing pec flies and you're doing a lot of chest work to build your bench press, you might be going down the wrong direction. Train the opposite side of your body and watch it explode. The one big thing that I see people messing up, especially today all the time, is that they're training heavy constantly, but they're not thinking about training fast. Now, what you need to understand is that rate of force development is crucial to getting better. So let's dive into a little bit of why. I know that I don't have this listed of what this means, but this would be your motor recruitment ability, okay? So when your body goes to lift the weight, it goes, okay, that's not enough. Okay, that's not enough. Okay, that's not enough. Oh, okay, now I'm moving, say, 250 pounds. And this could be any amount of weight. But the point is, look how long it took my motor units to reach that point of breaking. Now, wouldn't it seem logical that if I train the dynamic effort method correctly with the right weights, with the right percentages and the right mindset, then I'm gonna be able to get to those motor units a little bit faster and hit it sooner. The problem is with most lifting is that not only do you run out of strength, you run out of time. And so the faster you can get to those motor units to move that weight more explosively, the better chance you have to get it because you're not already tired. Right? So the point is, is that make sure that you're training some dynamic effort method so you're increasing your motor unit recruitment at a faster rate. That is the real reason why you need speed work. Last but not least today, guys, is think of the bench press as an arm exercise. Now, all of us have eighth grade or you know middle school and high school and maybe even college coaches that taught us how to bench press. And at the end of the day, most of them were insanely wrong on which muscle groups are gonna make your bench press not only grow, but do it in a safe manner. One way to do that is to think of the bench press as an arm exercise. So if I'm training JM presses, tricep push downs, overhead tricep extensions, to build my bench press instead of pec flies, not only is this gonna increase my technique, it's also gonna save my shoulders. The bench press is actually an arm exercise for highly advanced and skilled lifters. That means that your arms need to be trained over and beyond what is capable of the rest of the body so that when you go into that maximum strain, you're going into your elbows versus going into your shoulder. So tying back into number one, if my lat's not really strong, then when I come up to the top and it's starting to stick and I wanna finish it out, I'm gonna flex my pec, putting my shoulder in harm's way versus staying back and locking my arm. The only way I'm gonna do that is if my arm is stronger than all of those other muscles. And that's why at winningstrength.com, we train the arm so hard. So hop on Patreon. We're gonna go over a little bit more of this and try to figure out some better ways to get you guys' bench press up. We'll see you guys there and find the link either at the bottom or at winningstrength.com.